Anguish is set to release their new album, Man on the Run, on October 21st. But fans won't have to wait long for new material as they're readying the song The Only Way Out for radio, iTunes, Amazon, and other retailers on September 9th. They recorded the new effort in Dave Grohl's 606 studio in Northridge, California. It's the follow-up to 2011's The Sea of Memories, and they became the first artist to self-release a single, The Sound of Winter, that went to number one on the alternative rock chart. The group now consists of Gavin Rossdale, original drummer Nigel Goodridge, guitarist Chris Trainer, and bassist Corey Britz. Trainer said that he was counting on just being Gavin's solo guitarist until Rossdale extended the invitation to take the place of Nigel Pulsford. When we were going to do another solo record, he's, you know, he was really inspired to do Bush again. He wanted to kind of play those songs, get the band back together. So that was really, at first when he said it, I didn't think he wanted me in the band. So I was like, and me and him are good friends, so I was like, you know, that's, that's cool, man. That's cool for you. It's going to be fun. But he's like, no, I want you to play with me. So it's been fun, and the amount of success that we've had this year is we totally didn't expect it. And everywhere we go, it's like people are giving us such love. We released that record ourselves, and we had the first ever uh, self-release number one hit on Billboard. It was a hit for seven weeks, which is like completely unexpected. Like, I didn't expect that at all. And such a groundswell of support from the fans and radio stations like K-Rock, so it's been amazing. 2014 is also a significant year as it marks the 20th anniversary of Bush's debut album, 16 Stone. That collection hit number four on the Billboard 200 and included the chart-topping hits Come Down, Glycerin, and Machine Head, as well as solid radio hits Everything Zen and Little Things. Bush has sold 20 million albums in North America. Okay.